this is an absolute disaster for the third day in a row. Or maybe it's not, I have no idea. This has been a really epic three days of terrible content. So what happened was two days ago, I tried shooting on an old iPod because my iPhone 6 that I usually shoot on is dying and the audio is kind of not working out for me and I'm really worried about it. And sometimes the video cuts out and because I can't see the screen, I don't know what's going on. Uh, and uh, so I tried it on this old iPod and, and it was the most sort of fuzzy, blurry image ever. So what I did was like 10 seconds of like video content and then cut out the video part and it was just the audio content so just audio and green screen with none of me which maybe is a good thing if you know what I'm saying um, and uh, so I was really disappointed with that but I shoot daily content I don't have enough time to reshoot videos there's a bunch of reasons blah 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 um, so that was a disaster um, and but I have a new iPod and I thought you know okay maybe the new iPod will work better bang new iPod up yesterday exactly the same problem as soon as I chuck it up into the computer and start editing it there's a big blurry me in the middle of the screen uh, so I was like okay look the old iPod didn't work disaster two days ago uh, just basically a, an image of a shoe and me speaking over it with no actual person in the video for two days running and now here we are on the third day I'm back on my iPhone 6 I have no idea if the image is working uh, maybe I've ruined like the whole the whole eye line, the old iPod, the new iPod, and now the iPhone 6 isn't working out for me. Now, I know, I know, I know I need to get a new iPhone 6. Not a new iPhone 6. No, not a new iPhone 6. Get a new iPhone. Uh, and then hopefully so that will work out for me. I don't know what went wrong with the two iPods. The, the test videos I did worked fine uh, but then for some reason the actual videos I did uh, didn't work out for me and like I say I can't see the screen so I don't know uh, if it's a blurry image or if it's not working out for me or stuff like that so it's really 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 like uh, and, and this right now is really stressful for me because I, I could be making a right mess of this and, uh, and I just don't have time to reshoot my content so if it doesn't work out it's a real disaster for me so uh, so fingers crossed this is working out uh, this is a good video uh, I look good uh, which is not really going to happen whether I'm using an iPod or an iPhone but uh, and, and you guys have got a video uh, of me talking about shoes, uh, upcoming releases is what we always do at the channel. So fingers crossed these dunk lows are coming to you guys uh, nice and clear today. If not, for the third day in a row, I apologize, uh, but I just don't have time to reshoot content. So we'll just see where this goes. Maybe that's kind of part of the excitement. Maybe I should flip it around and think of it in a positive way as being, you know, it's exciting. Who knows what's going to happen at the channel today? Uh, maybe the camera will work. Maybe it won't. Let's, let's just close our eyes and jump in and see what happens. So maybe I should think of it positively like that. But Anyway, it's still kind of worrisome and stressful for me to do it this way. Um, but anyway, on to this shoe. So it's all about a dunk low today. Um, and it's called the Championship Grey. Um, and uh, although they have a different name for it here in Japan, I think they're calling it the, um, the Georgetown Championship Grey. Um, I'm not sure what the official name of it is. I think I'm going with Championship Grey as the official name, but I think people are going to be calling it the Georgetown. Um, so it's the Nike Dunk Low Georgetown, but I think the official name is Nike Dunk Low Championship Grey. And there's been a run of this at the channel recently, and uh, you know, out there at Nike, there's been a few little trends. They're not big things, it's not major changes in the world of sneakers, but little trends that have been popping up recently. And there's two on this shoot today uh, that are really like you continued, and you see that trend in the sneaker world. One of them is the name. So we had um, two shoes. Yesterday, I think it was, it was the uh, the Jordan 5 Oreos, but here they were calling them the uh, Jordan 5, I think it was Midnight's they call them here, um, or Moonlight it might have been, um, and then the Jordan 4 Lightnings, uh, and you'll be able to see both of them behind me on the, the green screen here, and that had a different name here as well, um, and that's very new. Uh, to the, the Jordan world. They don't usually rename the shoes for the Japanese market, but for some reason they did that. And then here we are today, you've got another one where is, is, is it Georgetown, is it uh, Championship Grey? Um, and, uh, and I don't know if that's a Japanese thing, like Championship Grey here, Georgetown there, or if it's, um, you know, like a world over that they're kind of 
playing around with the name. So that's one sort of element of the shoe is the, the, the name. Uh, and the other element of it is uh, we had this sort of run of yellow shoes. There was the Jordan 1 Pollen. We'll stick that up. Um, and then uh, I referenced the old Tokyo uh, Jordan 5s, which is a great shoe, a grail, a beautiful shoe. Um, and then, uh, like I said, we had the, the Jordan 4 Lightnings. Um, and then today, this shoe, um, it's another one is that, that fits in with a narrative. And it's, uh, let me think how many shoes it would be. There's the my big disappointment, it's, it's three shoes, and this is the fourth one. My big disappointment in the Jordan 3s that I should have got these shoes, didn't pull the trigger, missed out, and really regret that like an absolute bonehead. Uh, there was also the Jordan 1 Co.JP Midnight Navy. Um, and again, I really regret not getting that shoe. I did try for it, but I didn't get it. Um, and I know I could get these guys at retail, probably retail resell um, for a little bit more, um, but I, I don't really like to do that. But uh, but it's a shoe, two shoes that I really regret missing out on, and they both have that sort of similar deep blue um, vibe to them, but it's usually deep blue and white. Um, and then there was, I think it was two days ago, we did uh, a, a dunk high midnight navy and now here we are with this this championship gray and all four of those shoes uh their their main color or their signature color is that deep navy blue uh but what's different about uh these guys is that the previous three really had deep navy blue uh backed up with white uh and on these guys it's deep navy blue backed up in gray so that's the sort of major difference but still it's a sort of line uh and it's kind of I, I, there's something going on at the the sneaker world at Nike and at Jordan and places like that where they're connecting shoes a lot more effectively than they did uh, in previous years and I think there's a bit more of a plan to it and a bit more of a, a sort of deliberate choice as to what colorways they're going to put out and how they connect uh, dunks to Jordans for example um, so uh, and, and that's like I say this is where this shoe fits in for me uh, as the fourth shoe in that kind of line of the deep navy blue shoes that they've been putting out there so uh, and then one more connection to the shoe uh, I'll be able to bring up a picture of them was uh, one of my first shoes for YouTube uh, back in like 2017 before I had my own channel this is once when I used to make content for the butter movement channels uh, and this um, uh, there, there was a, a great uh, see summer it was a summer of beautiful dunks there were three of them that came out and the first one no it's the second one the first one's the Mita I don't know if I'll be able to show you the Mita um, and then the second one was the uh, Atmos mismatch dunk glows which was a great show I lined up for them did a whole video of me lining up you know picking the uh, a card out of a box uh, I think it was number 20 if I remember rightly which gave me a choice of quite a lot of shoes um, and I couldn't get them in my size I ended up getting them in another size um, and so uh, but they, these very much echo those shoes but uh, in their sort of structure their colorway um, but the, the difference there being that those atmoses had that mismatch where uh, one shoe was blue and grew and it grew blue and grey and the other shoe was grey and blue the flip uh, the reverse the mismatch of it so uh, and then here today these guys they, they echo that uh, a little bit um, you know I'd say maybe 75% or something like that so uh, so let's get in them and have a look at this uh, shoe today I already talked about uh, one trend um, and like I said it was those uh, yellow Jordans that we already had uh, and now these deep blue sort of Jordans and dunks uh, is, is one trend but the other trend that we'll go to and the first thing we'll look at in detail on the shoe is the insole on these guys. So let's bring that up and have a look and you can see, uh, you'll see the insole on the tongues and we'll start with the insole first because that's the major sort of change that we're getting here. You would expect uh, if it's a gray insole, you'd probably expect the deep navy blue branding on the inside, but instead what you get is a kind of orange branding on there. Uh, and that's been the trend uh, that I've seen in a few shoes recently that they've gone with these kind of interesting insoles where you've got, and it's not just uh, Jordan or Dunk, for example, they've done it on things like Air Maxes as well. So it's a, a sort of brand wide thing where you have this very sort of subtle, uh, low down kind of colorway on the outside of the shoe. And then you have a look on the inside and something very different is going on. Um, and I think it was uh, a move to zero 
I think it was an Air Force One, and it was basically white with these sort of really pastel oranges and browns on the outside. And then you looked on the inside, and this monstrous volt yellow insole going on. Uh, and, and this is not quite as stark as that, but basically that branding on there being in that orange uh, doesn't fit with the colorway on anywhere on the shoe. Nowhere else on the shoe has the, this color in it. So it's kind of a, a real sort of 90 degree turn away from the colorway on the insole. And in case these guys, like I said, it's in orange and then right below that you've got the tongues uh, and it's kind of a, an interesting tongue because I, f I feel like the branding on these guys is extra silver uh, really really pushing that silver they've really made an effort to choose uh, the threading to uh, to make that branding on there in a really popping silver kind of uh, color so you've got the gray tongue and on top of that you've got the blue branding panel with a blue uh, piping running around the outside edge of the tongue and then on that branding panel the brand on the Nike and the swoosh is in a really nice silver, really nice silver. I was kind of surprised by this. And again, it's in contrast to that insole being in orange, which is kind of a surprise. And then if we turn these guys around and have a look at the back and look at the branding on the back, uh, you see again that Nike branding on the back there. Uh, and, and if you zoom in, you know, healthily close, uh, hopefully, which is what's happening on the back of the, the green screen here, you can see the stitching and that Nike branding on the back there again is in a really strong silver rather than the, the grey of the rest of the shoe and that really really surprised me uh, that they made that kind of big effort to go away from grey and be closer to silver on the branding on the tongues and on the heel. Uh, speaking of the heel, here's a shot of the heel which gives you a great idea of the kind of materials and then basically the standard materials that you'd go into on a dunk low um, and uh, it's a great shot for two particular reasons. One is for that quality of materials you can get an idea of especially the deep blue uh, is hopefully showing up as well here. Another reason why it's a great shot is because I often talk about dunks being either a a bi color or a tri color um, and uh, what I mean by that uh, this is a perfect example because the upper on this shoe is gray and blue but the midsole is white and that gives us those three colors which is a very standard blocking style of a dunk uh, sometimes the gray on the upper would be white uh, so you'd have the white and blue for example on the upper with a white midsole so that's white and blue two colors by color uh, in the case of these guys gray and blue on the upper with white midsole so that's the tricolor so whenever you hear me talking about a bi color dunk or a tricolor dunk this is exactly what i'm talking about a really good example of that so that shot on the heel there gives you the idea about uh, the quality of the materials and about that three color blocking in the gray the blue and the white and then if we go across to the toe you'll see that quality of the materials there again so it's a really good uh, way to, to sort of zone in on those kind of elements of the shoe and then the last thing to zone in on is the outsole on these guys so let's flip them upside down and have a look at that deep blue front to back um, all consistent no blocking in there at all of any other colors no gray in there at all it's just that deep beautiful and navy royal blue on the, the bottom of these guys so it's a really uh, consistent way to finish off a shoe uh, and then back out to look at the whole shoe um, a beautiful dunk low coming here on August the 28th but I'm seeing it there on September the 2nd there's been a run of these shoes recently that are dropping here uh, earlier than they are dropping out there and we've talked about how we can maybe use that to our advantage there's a link in the description below about getting shoes uh, in hand and uh, to you guys at cost uh, ahead of the, the drop dates because I think they're dropping in Japan earlier which is where I am earlier than uh, where they, uh, they're dropping overseas so uh, check out that link if you're interested in trying to get shoes uh, in hand earlier uh, than the drop date where you might be uh, and with that being said it's just time to wrap this one up and finish up another video for the day and hopefully it worked I'm pretty sure it will have the old uh, iPhone 6 god I hope I don't go and look at the back there and it's cut out and I've uh, just shot absolutely nothing but fingers crossed there's something I can post on YouTube today uh, so thanks for checking out the content and I'll just say the same thing that I say at the end of every single video which is that I do this every single day and that means that you are guaranteed to see me tomorrow